Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about some of the strangest and most mind-blowing aspects of string theory, a theory that attempts to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity. String theory is one of the most ambitious and controversial ideas in modern physics, and it has some very weird implications for our understanding of reality. Here are five weird things about string theory that you might not know. Number one, string theory says that everything is made of tiny strings. According to string theory, the fundamental building blocks of matter are not point-like particles, but tiny one-dimensional objects called strings. These strings are so small that they are invisible even to the most powerful microscopes. They vibrated in different ways, and each vibration corresponds to a different type of particle, such as an electron, a photon, or a quark. In this way, string theory tries to explain all the particles and forces in nature by using a single entity, the string. Number two, string theory says that there are extra dimensions of space. According to string theory, the strings can only vibrate in certain ways if they exist in more than three dimensions of space. In fact, string theory requires at least 10 dimensions of space and one dimension of time for the math to work out. These extra dimensions are hidden from us because they are curled up into tiny shapes called calibi yau manifolds. These shapes are so small that we can only perceive their average properties, such as their size and shape. In this way, string theory tries to explain why we only see three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. Number three, string theory says that there are parallel universes. According to string theory, there are many different ways to curl up the extra dimensions into calibi yau manifolds. Each way corresponds to a different set of physical laws and constants, such as the speed of light, the strength of gravity, or the mass of the electron. These different sets of physical laws and constants define different universes, which are collectively called the multiverse. In this way, string theory tries to explain why our universe has the particular physical laws and constants that it has. Number four, string theory says that there are giant membranes in space. According to string theory, there are not only strings, but also higher dimensional objects called brains. Brains can have any number of dimensions, from zero, a point, to nine, a nine-dimensional space. Brains can also vibrate and interact with each other, just like strings. Some brains can be very large, spanning across the entire universe or even beyond it. In fact, some versions of string theory suggest that our universe is a three-dimensional brain embedded in a higher dimensional space. In this way, string theory tries to explain what our universe is made of and where it came from. Number five, string theory says that there is a holographic principle. According to string theory, there is a deep connection between gravity and quantum information. This connection implies that the amount of information that can be stored in a region of space is proportional to its surface area, not its volume. This means that a three-dimensional space can be encoded by a two-dimensional surface, like a hologram. This also means that everything that happens in a region of space can be described by what happens on its boundary. In this way, string theory tries to explain how gravity and quantum mechanics can be compatible. These are just some of the weird things about string theory that make it so fascinating and mysterious. String theory is still a work in progress, and it faces many challenges and criticisms from both experimental and theoretical perspectives. However, it also offers many insights and possibilities for exploring the nature of reality at its most fundamental level. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your questions or suggestions for our next topics.